students today we will discuss about how velocity of a wave the frequency of the wave and wavelength are related to each other the velocity of a wave whether it is a 1d 2d 3d or it is a transverse or longitudinal wave or it is a it is mechanical or non mechanical wave the formula we are going to derive is valid for all types of waves this uh, formula is uh, universal to all types of waves that is velocity we are going to derive that it is uh, frequency times wavelength so that relation is valid for all types of waves so now first we'll uh, consider a wave we'll understand in the wave what are the parameters like uh, what is amplitude what is the time period what is the frequency and what, what do you mean by the velocity of the wave after that we will derive the expression okay so first relation among velocity frequency and wavelength let us uh, draw a wave in the form of a crest and trough the longitudinal wave can also be represented in the form of crest and trough though it is in the form of compression or reflection but the diagram can also be drawn and uh, the sound wave or longitudinal wave can be understood with the help of crest and trough so this is a wave which is moving in this direction okay wave is basically disturbance now what is moving if you look at this then uh, something like this some type of displacement is moving forward this type of displacement is moving forward and this uh, diagram that is drawn here this uh, profile is a photo of all the particles that is vibrating at a given instant but all the particles have to get this disturbance if it is moving uh, up and down then i will say this plus this this is the disturbance that means the disturbance is the displacement in this direction and in this direction so the particle will get that disturbance and it will move in this direction and in this direction but in this picture we are showing that the particle which is originally here now is at this position the particle which was here is now at this position the particle which was originally here and now is the this position so different particles are at different positions from their mean positions some are in the positive sides of the mean position some are negative sides of the mean positions so this is the displacement this gives you the displacement of the particle all the particles at a given instant now what is a wavelength wavelength is the distance between two successive crest this is also a crest this is also a crest so the distance between two successive waves so this length is known as wavelength of the wave and similarly the distance between two successive crests okay this is trough the distance between two successive trough is also known as wavelength of the wave so this is the wavelength or you can say the length of a single wave is called a wavelength so this is one wave complete wave this is uh, another wave so this length is called wavelength another definition of wavelength is when uh, two particles any two particles in the wave or in the medium which any two successive particles in the medium which are uh, in same phase same phase means uh, same state of uh, their uh, vibrations same state of vibration means they are equally displaced from their mean position the velocity at that time must be same and of course the acceleration will be same so everything is uh, identical about those two particles uh, nearest particles or the successive uh, particles which are in the same having same displacement uh, velocity and acceleration then uh, those uh, particles are called to be in phase so the distance between them also is called wavelength okay now the particle here at crest and the successive crest here 
they are in the same state of vibration. Whatever is the velocity of this particle acceleration and uh, displacement is the same for this. Okay. You can have another phase of somewhere here, but then uh, the distance between this uh, crest and this crest is not problem. It has to be the nearest crest or the successive or adjacent crest. Okay. Now I want to say that if uh, this point, if you slightly, uh, if you come down from here to by certain distance, I will say here. And if you equally come down from here to, to the same, same distance here, then the distance of uh, this is also known as wavelength. Okay, that means what? If I yeah, so the, these two points, uh, these two points are in the same state of vibrations. The displacement is same, and both the points are uh, moving downward. This is also moving downward. This is also moving downward with the same velocity, and the acceleration is same. That means that there is no difference. Uh, between uh, these uh, two particles uh, as far as their uh, state of vibration is concerned but their locations are different but the state of vibrations are same so that means uh, whatever information you gather about this particle you will get the same information all the information you want about this, this particle so in this case these two are said to be in same phase okay now if two particles are uh, in same phase two successive particles are in same phase you might get another particle over here which are in same phase okay <coughs> but then these then these are not uh, called the distance this point and this point is not called the overall length because it is to be the two successive points so the definition of wavelength is the uh, distance between two successive particles which are in same page okay now i'm not writing that or uh, shall i write this here okay wavelength is distance between two successive particles in phase this is the wavelength and uh, the how far the particle can move off the mean position how far the particle get, can go away from the mean position that is known as the amplitude so this particle is moving up to this point so this is the amplitude maximum and or this is the in the opposite direction this is the maximum displacement so these are the four amplitudes mean position to crest distance or mean position to drop distance so that is known as amplitude maximum displacement of the particle from mean position So this is uh, the amplitude. So this one is the amplitude. So this is the amplitude going here. That is represented as capital A or small a, whatever. Now, what is the uh, time period and uh, frequency of wave? When a particle oscillates as the wave uh, reaches that point, that point will uh, start uh, oscillating, whether perpendicular or parallel. But then uh, in oscillation. As every particle is performing simple harmonic motion or SHM, that is, is moving up and down like that. And uh, this particle, suppose it is here, it will suppose that it is moving down, it has to come down to the this point and this point between these two points, it is uh, oscillating. Now it is down one direction, it will come down like this up to this point, and then it will return. It will come to rest for some time here, and then uh, it will return back to this point again to this point that is the maximum on the other side and again it will stop here for some time then it will come back the stop for some time doesn't mean uh, for seconds it will be very you no know, microseconds time it will be there and it will come down so the particle uh, here is oscillating up and down so so is the case for all the particles now if this particle is moving down, down now and it will go down come to the same place go up and come down again this is called one oscillation like this like this and this means after that it has to repeat the same set of movement so that is one oscillation is complete so how much time it takes to complete one oscillation that is known as the time period okay 
just like uh, Earth spins about its own axis in 24 hours. So that is the time period of the spin motion of the Earth. The Earth takes 365 days to revolve around Sun. So that is the time period of Sun. The second hand of a watch takes 60 seconds to complete one rotation. After that, it repeats the same movement. So in one revolution, it takes 60 seconds. So therefore, for second hand of a watch, the time period is 60 seconds. So that means for any uh, movement which is repeated and uh, to have one such movement, how much time to um, cover one such movement, how much time is required, that is a time period. So for this particle, if it uh, takes a certain time to complete one oscillation, that is called as time period, it is represented as capital T. Capital T is the time period, it is the symbol used for time period. And uh, interestingly, the time the particle takes to complete one oscillation, with the same time, the wave, one wavelength of the wave, that means the wave moves forward by a distance equal to one wavelength. That means by the time this particle completes one oscillation, a single wave will pass through three point in the space. That means the wave will advance by a distance equal to lambda in that time. Okay, these two are similar. So if uh, the wave takes, and what is the frequency of the wave? The frequency of the particle is also the frequency of the wave. Frequency of the particle means uh, in one second how, ma how many such oscillations are possible. Okay, if the speed of the fan is a 1500 rpm, that means in one minute it covers 1500 times it covers the revolution. 1500 revolutions it performs. So therefore, its uh, frequency is 1500 rpm revolutions per minute. In one minute, that means in one 60 seconds, it completes uh, 1500 revolutions. One rotation is one revolution, so 1500 times it rotates. So, if I say frequency is 50 hertz, that means uh, in one second, uh, 50 oscillations are there. In one second, the particle moves up and down like this 50 times, then its frequency will be 50. That means in one second, it completes 50 oscillations. Time period and frequency are related like this, they are reciprocal. Okay. They are reciprocal. The frequency is inverse of time period. Now we will derive the relation. Now we can see here the if to a point the wave propagates and a one complete wave passes through the point. When just one wave passes through the point or then uh, the distance it covers is lambda. One way passes, the distance covers is lambda. The time taken is t because by the time this particle will completes one oscillation, this uh, wave moves a distance equal to lambda. So, speed of the wave or velocity of the wave is the distance it covers divided by the time taken. How far the distance is traveling in what time? If this much of distance has to be covered, then that has to be covered in time t. Therefore, for to cover lambda a distance, it takes time t, time period. So therefore, the speed of the wave is equivalent by time period or v equals to lambda into frequency. So this is the universal formula. This is the universal formula that is used for all types of waves, that is for longitudinal, transverse, 1D, 2D, 3D, electromagnetic, all types of waves, mechanical or non-mechanical. Okay, so this is the relation you have to understand. This its unit will be meter, its unit will be hertz, and this is meter per second. Okay, thank you.